I'm here in Austin, Texas with successful entrepreneur Manoj Saxena, who also has a passion for racing. Hi Manoj, welcome to Andaz. Thank you. So tell me, how did the entrepreneurial bug bite you? I would say it um, probably first started when I was 17, but it's grown over time. Uh, back when I was going to school in Bitspilani, I started selling photographs as a way to um, uh, make some money so I could take my girlfriend out for uh, you know dinner and stuff because she used to refuse to have dinner with me where I was paying from my money and she was paying from her father's money. So that was the first you know, necessity, if you may, that got me down the entrepreneurial path. But uh, more formally, probably, um, I would say when I took my first job with 3M, and uh, this was 1990, and uh, just going through the process of innovating and coming up with new products, uh, more as an entrepreneur rather than an entrepreneur, uh, is what got me hooked to the whole process of innovation and commercialization. Manoj, tell us a little bit about your startups. I'm sure they had their own sets of challenges and rewards. My first startup, I founded in 1998, was in June uh, when I left my job at 3M. I was running a, about a $120 million P&L in a business unit for 3M Telecom here in Austin. And the internet was just about coming about as a, you know, a commercial uh, medium and people were debating whether the internet should go commercial or not. I saw the potential in connecting businesses using the internet to run business processes. So in 1998, I uh, took about 13 different credit cards, had about $200,000 of credit on it, took that as my seed capital and left 3M to start Extraprise and then and we grew right into the internet theme, 1999 that came about. How did you go from the boardroom to the racetrack? Well, that's, um, you know, I think, I think there are a lot of parallels between business and racing, or for that matter, between racing and life, as I see it. Uh, elements that you're needed to be successful in business, things like vision, things like understanding technology, things like driving performance, things like being results-oriented, all of those are the elements that you need uh, when you get into racing. My journey began, um, you know, growing up I used to be in motorbikes, but I was not able to do some of my startups. When I was doing my startups, I was prevented from some of the VCs from uh, riding motorbikes because they felt it was too risky. So the moment I sold the first company uh, is when I got back to my passion. Oh, and that's uh, awesome. yeah, so that, that's kind of how it's, it, it's gone over time. So Manoj, do you have any rituals or superstitions that help change your frame of mind before you start racing? Well, one of the things, it's interesting you asked that, I, I didn't, I mean, I got into racing about six years ago. Initially, I didn't. I was just sort of so pumped up about being in a race car. But as you get more and more comfortable with it, uh, you start sort of um, finding, I wouldn't say a superstition, it's more a pattern. From the point of view of preparedness, um, I would say I sort of hum the tunes of some of the songs that I like that kind of calm me down. Because one of the things about racing is the car almost senses the physical and the mental condition you're in. So if you are taught and if you're all agitated about it, the car responds in a very jerky way. And but if you're calm, the car sort of connects with you and it responds in the same way. You support Race to Win, which helps kids stay in school. Tell us about that. About a year ago, I came across uh, the, the statistic that one out of three American kids don't finish high school. And to me, that was a very a depressing and a stunning fact. So I made this, uh, uh, I kind of designed this program where I said, let's raise $100,000 and let's take a race car, drive it across the country and go to some of these communities where communities in school is working with school kids who are at risk of dropping out and use the race car as a mechanism to excite and energize the kids because everyone loves racing in a race car. And then once we have their attention, talk to them about all the engineering and sciences that goes into a race car for it to win a race, and then talk about all the careers they can have around racing if they stayed in school and finished in school. We raised actually $154,000 against a target of $100,000. We engaged over uh, 1,200 kids across six cities. And it was a very satisfying experience. It was one that helped me combine my passion for racing and my passion for community and, and engaging in the community. Being an entrepreneur is being a risk taker. Does that instinct help you on the racetrack or is it the other way around? I think there's a lot of parallels between entrepreneurship and, and racing. Um, and I would probably change your terms a little bit. It's not risk taking as much as managing risk or risk management because uh, entrepreneurs, I believe, are one of the most risk averse people you will ever meet. Uh, there's a notion that entrepreneurs are like evil can evil. They'll go out and jump in you know, valleys and stuff. but. The essence of entrepreneurship to me is about 
understanding the system, understanding the risk elements in the system, and then going at it systematically to remove that risk. Thank you, Manoj. What an amazing day I had with you today. And what a rush that was. So do you have any advice for budding entrepreneurs out there? Uh, yeah, first of all, thank you for the opportunity. And um, in terms of uh, budding entrepreneurs, I would say two things. Number one, uh, be passionate about whatever it is that you're doing. Uh, at the end of the day, it's the passion and the focus that will see you through. And the second thing I would say is focus on building the best and the brightest team that you can pull together because it's uh, truly great people that build exceptional companies. So uh, I, I would say those are the two things, you know, passion and focusing on who's on your team and making sure they're the best and the brightest. Well, that's some great advice. Now let's go check out what Pavan and Reena are up to at Thai.